Hi everyone and welcome back to Library of Books and Daydreams. So today I thought I would give you a little June wrap up and a July TBR. So I am basically going to copy Alex this week um, because we were talking about video ideas the other day and I thought it would be really cool to share this with you. So I think we should dive right in. So the first book actually me and Alex read together in June is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo and I am now realising that mine and Alex's read in June update will probably be quite similar <laughs> because we are buddy reading a lot of books together at the moment. Um, but anyway, I read Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I really enjoyed it but I was a little confused by it and I realised after that it's written by more than one point of view, which I never actually realised while reading the book because I don't think it has chapter headings. Nope. Um, so that very much confused me um, but other than that I really enjoyed this book. It's very different to what Lee Bardugo has written in the past but it's definitely one to look out for if you are into kind of mystical um, fantasy but say in the real world, urban fantasy and universe, it's set in a university so it's set at Yale as well. The next book I read is Don't Date Wrote at Rosa Santos. I absolutely loved this book so much. It was such a like a light-hearted contemporary but it really did a deep dive into Cuban culture which I absolutely adored. The food descriptions are in this book are to die for, it was amazing and I loved that it was set by the sea, it was so focused on friends and family, it was just beautiful in so many ways, absolutely adored it, really recommend this one to you guys. So I also read The Crow Rider by Kaylin Josephson, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. Um, I was lucky enough to receive an arc from NetGalley, this is why I read it on my Kindle, I don't read a lot on Kindle. but. Um, I received an art from the publishing company for the Stormcrow last year, um, so I really really wanted to read this one, so I read this one and I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't really remember a lot that happened in the first book and I didn't reread it unfortunately, I didn't really have time, but I still really enjoyed this, the world is absolutely beautiful, I would really recommend this series if you are looking for fantasy that is a little different and discusses mental health, I think this is something that this series does really well as it discusses depression and mental health and it's something I really appreciate about it. So me and Alex have still been reading Throne of Glass and this month we have read Queen of Shadows so we took a break in the middle to read Ninth House and then we went on to Queen of Shadows. Um, this series has really picked up for me again. It dipped a little bit in Air of Fire and then now the gang are back together and I love reading about their adventures together so very much enjoying this series with Alex, it's really nice to buddy read it with her too. So as part of the Make Your Myth Take a Readathon I had to read a book with a foiled cover so I read A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. I didn't really want to read fantasy alongside reading Throne of Glass but this one was very different so this is a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights. I don't really know the original story that well but obviously I know the basic plot so it was really interesting to have it in the perspective of this author. And the way it discussed women and sexism was really interesting and I found this a really fast paced, quick read um, and I really enjoyed it so I'd recommend it if you sounds like something you're interested in. And what I'm currently reading as I am filming this video is On the Come Up by Andy Thomas. I am almost done with this book and I am absolutely loving it. Me and my boyfriend watched The Hate You Give, the movie adaptation last week. I read it last year and absolutely loved it and the movie was really good too and I am really enjoying this book. It is really nice to be reading something that is by a black author right now, I feel like it's really important um, and in general this book has opened my eyes a lot um, more and I am just really enjoying it. The, the plot is really fast paced and I got through like 100 pages last night without even thinking about it so definitely recommend it on the come up and I'm nearly done with it so I'll hopefully be done with it by tomorrow and which is the end of the month. So the other book I am currently reading is Empire of Storms uh, so me and Alex are on this book now in our buddy read and we only have two more to go after this so we are about halfway through, I am really enjoying this book, I definitely won't get it done by the end of the month as we are due to finish on Sunday, so that will be July 5th, but really enjoying the series, really glad that we decided to pick it up together, 
so you'll hear more about the next two books as I go into my July TBR. So let's go straight into my July TBR. I am not making this a very long TBR as I have been kind of strict with what I've been reading because of reading Throne of Glass and the Make Your Myth Take a Readathon in the past month so I want to leave myself a little bit of wiggle room to read some more books that I want, just want to pick up in the moment but I definitely have a few books that I really want to or need to read in July so I'm going to take you through those now. So the first one is um, Supper Club by Lara Williams, unfortunately I'm having to show you a picture on my phone um, as I don't have a physical copy of the book but I am on the blog tour for this book so I'm on the blog tour on the 18th of July I believe, um, so I am really excited to read it. I thought it sounded really interesting when Penguin dropped me an email, so I thought I would give it a go. I have a Kindle version of that, so I'm going to get started on that one after I've finished all the come up, On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. So the second book on my TBR is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. Um, I am really excited to read this one. I know it follows a different character along what me and Alex think is the same timeline as Empire of Storms does, so it'll be really interesting to read that. Um, I just want to throw out there that this book is really annoying because it is blue when the rest of the series is white and it is in the middle of the series, which is uh, doesn't look great on my shelves, but <laughs> it's still really pretty in its own way. Um, so I will be reading this with Alex after we finish Empire of Storms on Sunday. And then we will be going on to the absolute brick, that is Kingdom of Ash. I am really excited for this book. I have only ever heard good things about the last book in this series. Um, so we will be due to finish this, I think, in the first weekend of August, when we would have been at Yalk. So it will be a little bit sad and poignant, but we will be finishing the Bloody Wreath that weekend. I am really excited for this. It's all tabbed and ready to go, so I'm ready to hear my thoughts. And the last book that I am adding to